Welcome to Anatomy and Physiology at Glen Oaks Community College. I'm Dr. Ren Hartung. And what we have here is a model of a right knee. Um, for my students, it's good for you. This is the only one I have, so anything on this model is going to be the right-hand side. Let's look at the things that you need to know. You need to know the bones. This is the right femur. This is the right tibia. And this is the right fibula. You also need to know the patellar ligament. Oh, I'm sorry, last bone. The patella is inside of this uh, dense regular connective tissue. Um, up here, it's a tendon, and down here, it's a ligament. And you need to know for this model, the ligament. This is the patellar ligament. Right patellar ligament. The medial collateral ligament. Remember that the tibia is medial and the fibula is lateral. That should help you figure out which one is the medial collateral ligament and which one is the lateral collateral ligament. One more time on that one. Right medial collateral ligament. Right lateral collateral ligament. And then we'll move to the inside of the knee. If I, if I reflect the patellar ligament, inside here you can see the intercruciate ligament. This would be anterior cruciate ligament. And if I flip the model over so we can see the back, this is the posterior cruciate ligament. And then the last thing I have on my list is the meniscus. And I can leave this up here for this. Remember, this is the medial side because it's the side the tibia is on. So that's the medial meniscus right here. Medial meniscus. Over here is the lateral meniscus. And I think that concludes all of the features you need to know for the knee joint. As always, if there's any questions, comments, please feel free to email or call me. Thank you again for watching.